Damn, guys. I'm going to start a series called Poker Out Loud, and we're just going to use this to learn GTO in a way because I want to prove to people you can learn this. It's free. And I'm obviously I'm now nowhere near a master at poker or anything like that, but I think this is a great way to learn thinking out loud, going over ranges, and uh, yeah, you know, let's, let's let's have some fun. Forty big blind single raise pot low jack. Low jack has you know a lot of high cards. It's, I always think high cards suited tens, you know, stuff like that. Um, does it show, show their range? I mean, they have more than that. I just go by it. You know what I mean? I know they're going to have suited 10, off suit 10s, and then, yeah, they'd be opening. Uh, they get to, You get to open more in the low jack than in, like, early, early position, so you are opening a lot of these suited 8s and, obviously, some better suited uh, aces and suited kings. And so we're in the button we called this so we have like seven eight suited six seven suited we have a lot of those hands i'm assuming right no just actually just five six seven six eight seven nine eight not as many suited connectors as you think i think people overcall too much on the button with like suited connectors this is um i would say the bottom of your range in a way right yeah queen nine like he's defending the bottom of calling bottom of his range. So, so far so good guys thinking, you know, if I click off this, it'd be really cool. Sons of bitches. But, um, yeah, maybe they don't want me to do this anymore. What? All right. So that's the bottom of our range. So we just, we're going to bet, right? Take a stab. We have back door. We did pick up more equity. That three shouldn't help him. You know what I mean? That three. He has no threes, really. Unless he's, uh. Let's get some suited connectors. Nine, eight, eight, seven, just like me. Seven, six. So he could have like nine, eight of. Um. No, he can't. I have the nine of hearts. Um. But. He called my bet. He didn't raise. I don't think he has a king or a good king. I think he'd probably raise that. Um, he could just have pocket pairs too. You know, eights, sevens. Um, uh, I have a nine. I don't know. The question is, do we continue betting here? I think it's yes. Do we bet big or small? I would say big. All right, well, now you arrive at a weird spot. I mean, I think because we hold the nine, I think we got to kind of go for a bluff here um, and just go all in, unfortunately. I don't really like holding the hearts, but it's kind of a backdoor heart opportunity. It's not here, so I guess we have to go with it. And he calls, and of course he's going to call with a set of kings but we got it perfect so we thought through the whole hand perfectly it's good it's good stuff when you do it guys so 40 big blind pot this is tournament poker by the way and i've been like where is it like even here like i got like the fucking ranges down to like Took me a day basically just to memorize uh, Ape Styles rejamming range, and this is basically the rejamming range from small blind, big blind, kind of um, against cutoff and button. Should be rejamming these hands against button openers that open 40, 50 percent. So I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there for you guys. I don't know why. Um, another single raise pot. So again, I mean. We don't know much. This hits both of our ranges. Um, I think, actually, can we use a big bet here? No, no. I thought maybe we could, but it's just a check. I think he would have bet spades or an ace, probably. Like, you know, um, he would check a 10. Um, has tons of draws, tons of... Well, not tons, but five, six, seven, six, eight, seven, nine, eight, ten, eight, ten, nine. Yeah, he's got some ten. So I think again, this is just a check. We have some showdown value. Um, 
sometimes like are you supposed to turn your hand into a bluff like you have i i don't think here you do i just think you check it down and he had king queen hearts and did not take a stab at it so oh a three bed pot out of position on a nine nine queen board um button actually has this pretty good decent amount you know there's his value and then you know what i mean sporadically like you'll see like king five king like some of these junkier ones to stay balanced so just try you know what i mean if you're trying to understand gto there's like a lot of value here but then there's a lot of like cuspy hands i would say were we the one that three bit no he did so oof. i mean i think we have yeah, I was going to say, we have a lot of 9x. Uh, 9, 8, 10, 9, uh, Jack 9, Queen 9. We do have a lot of 9x. But this is just a check. And... Alright, we have Ace High. I think we just check it. Um, the question is, you call here. Like, what's he betting now? I think we call. 4 is not going to change much. Now he's really putting us in that, uh, basically, does he, basically he has it, a nine or a queen, or he has nothing, or he's trying to get me off a chop. So, my gut is telling me to call, because we unblock, like, everything. We don't, you know, we unblock the diamonds, so he could be bluffing with diamonds, and a lot of 10x, you know. King 10, stuff like that. I think we gotta just... Wow, it is a fold? Let's see what he has. Jack 10. Okay. See, see, GTO gets me mad sometimes because like, it's like, alright, man. I guess you use the GTO and then you exploit. You have to, like, deviate from your plan because, yeah, I would have called that. We would have won. Because it just didn't make sense. But sometimes, whatever. All right, here, for the Big Bang Pot, Lojack is betting. What would he be betting? Something strong, right? Betting into me. A lot of times they check, you know, out of position. It's hard to play. But this guy's saying I have Ace-9 suited, possibly King-9 suited. Um, even though we have the King-9 suit, so it's very um, less likely he has that. But I'm saying... Betting a nine, he's betting ten jacks, queens, kings, aces. That's kind of what he's going for. It's a pretty big size bet. I don't think we could check raise. I don't think there's any merit in check raising. Maybe if there was a, another heart on board and then we had backdoor opportunities, but I think we just check call. Not the greatest card because that does bring in, like, say he had, like, I don't know. <laughs> He could have ace, I mean, ace deuce, right? It's definitely in his range. Yeah. Not down here, but ace deuce. So, the four combos. We got a call. It's, it's in that jack. I think you call this, man. I don't know, though. It's so strong, right? Like, just do the bet three times into us. Boom on the turn and he has not let up so this nine doesn't feel as strong as i think it does now but we are getting a decent pot odds like almost three to one like a good one out of four times here you think king jack got lucky on the river he was just bluffing the whole way that's what i'm saying man boys you can learn this stuff if i can learn it you can learn it I wish I would just, I got to get a microphone and stuff here. I think this could be a good check raise candidate if you, no. Well, now we have the world, dude. We do need to get some value, though. I don't know if I try to just throw out a little bet. Check it. No, we got to go for value. Oh, my God. We got them all wrong. They wanted just another small bet to induce, which makes sense. Induce probably does have an ace. Now we get the jam. No, he hits six, five, three, four, five, six. I'll go over that hand one more time because that didn't make sense because we screwed it up. So we were on the check raise. We didn't. 
we hit the jack, we did the right thing on the turn, we let out, and then the river we screwed up. We t- I thought we could check it back, maybe he would bet. But what did we do? They wanted us to do a little blocker bet to hopefully induce, which actually did work, and then you jam over the top. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's do like three more guys. This stuff really helps. All right, we have, we have some equity here. We have the king of hearts too, which is kind of important. We do block some flushes, so... Uh, I do a lot of checking out of positions, even, all right, we pick up, we pick up some stuff here, boys, right? So, the question is, I think he would have bet a flush draw if he had a flush draw. I think he would have bet an ace if he had an ace. The question is, to bet or not to bet? I think to bet. Yeah. I guess with the, I mean, we get the turn right, but the river, man, is always a problem. So now, I mean, what is he calling with a queen? Can we get him off a queen? I don't think so. Ace nine, just kidding, guys. He had an ace, but I, I thought when he checked it, he played that good. 50 big blind single raise pot. Um, we have fucking, I'm just already thinking we have six, seven. We have a lot of hands that connect there. Jack 10, queen 10, just tons of hands that connect to this. I think it's a bet. Continue betting on that brick card. And with the queen of diamonds, I think we root jam. We lose to 9-8, but we played it perfect. I love GTO. Do you guys love it? Or DTO? DTO. (laughs) Yeah. Degenerate fucking theory. Um, All right. 40 big blind, button versus lower jack. I swear we should have some, like, we should have some bets, like big bets, right? On a board like this. Continue betting. Kind of helps his range too, right? He's, I mean, what does he call it? With 10x. 10x. Um, the question is do we bet here? I think so. It's either a check or a bet. Yeah. All right, fuck it. I guess we got to work on our river play. We had Queen 10. Queen 10. So he had a 10. I was right. I was right. Hand reading is good, but we just got to work on the river. I like doing this stuff because then I just learn. All right, maybe this we can check raise. All in. Um, so he has like fives, uh, diamond draw, better like queen jack, something like that. Queen jack diamonds. Let's see. Queen jack, uh, <laughs> queen jack, just queen jack, but with one diamond. Come on, guys. I wish I got more people to like look. I could teach you guys this shit free. And I'm not, whatever. I'm, I am who I am. Uh, here, I guess we could just range bet because it's a three bet pot. And I think check. Check. Ace hits again. Can we? Yeah. I'm sorry. I hit the wrong button. I'm like, we go some of some value now. What would do this? I mean, either an ace, <laughs> seven, eight. He, can, he probably has seven, eight. No, I mean, like, he has that in his range, right? Okay, Google. Oh, yeah. Okay, Google. Um, 7-8. I don't think we can fold here, though. There's, like, Miss Diamonds. There's Miss Spades. I think we have to call this Ace-2. Suited. Okay. Two more. I'm done. Oh, these boards. I think you should just... Oh, you don't bet. Bet big. Sorry. I was going to say you should bet. That should help my range more. Okay. I think we shut this down. Same type of hand. That's funny. There are times where you just can't bluff and you just kind of have to stop. 50 big blind pot. We have an open ender. We could do a lot. We could probably bet or... um, Wow. Wow. I always bet bigger on the turns. So fucking screw that up. See how I always do that? It's like, check. 
And then here, always size up. You can bet small on the flop, but they turn or whatever. You gotta like kind of be a man. Fucking 100 big blind pot, three bet. Honestly, is this one? Oh no, it's a range bet. I was gonna say sometimes you can just know a check fold, but this is not a check fold because we just picked up that. I don't know if it's a continued betting situation. No, it is. It is. I'm going to try to get them off. Well, we came this far. Now we have to rip it? Nope. I'm so glad we got this wrong. I actually am, guys. We had pocket threes, so we totally butchered this hand, which is going to happen. So what did we do? Range bet? Um, actually, yeah, I guess continue barreling because we have, you know, open ender. And then here, what did they want us to do? Pocket threes. Couldn't get the guy off pocket threes. Get out of here, bro. Um, one of these paired boards again. Check. I think we check call just because back door. Um, bets again, though. We didn't pick up any other diamonds. We, you know, just have ace high. 10 big blinds, you're in a tournament, do you really want to go down to 20 big blinds on that? You better fold. 6-5, this is from the but, uh, big blind, this is just a check fold, right? Yeah. All right, one more, queen 10. Here, we might be able to check raise. Just because of the queen, you see, I just see these, so if you see, you'll start to understand, you just know you're blocking stuff and... He's just betting to bet, small bet, big bet, gets him off, adios muchacho, pocket sevens, three bet pot, we with the three better, I think you can check or bet small here, I guess for our range we do have, you know, aces, kings, queens, and jacks, maybe we do want to bet, yeah, we do, got him off king, queen, king, ten, check, he should check on these boards usually. Low jack betting this is like, he probably has pocket pairs. Sevens plus, you know. I don't know. I just know we can't continue. And, you know, you guys should use this. So five in a row, but I always look at their ranges. Because, like, every day you use this and you look at ranges, you'll start to just know. Oh, wait. What am I? I'm th my bad. We're in position. Yeah, we would bet this. Nope. Sorry, we have fucking showdown value with that. That's what I'm saying. I'd call. Wow, quads. I screwed the hand up because I played it too quick. So, <laughs> but we obviously bet in position on a shitty board like this. He does continue. You don't. I meant to just check because it's like. And then, yeah, I would call this because I just feel like there's the hijack. But I, you, I would never put him on quads. I never would put him on. And I don't think anybody would. Double Broadway board. Uh, 30 big blinds. We have, like, no equity. We just have ace high. I wonder, do we take a big stab or a small stab? No. Sometimes you can do a big bet. Sometimes you can do a big bet. Hijack versus button. Is this a three-bet pot? We have two over cards with the queen. I... Uh, I think if it was suit, it's just just a check fold, yeah. Queen and eight. I think we can bet because the nine gives us the nuts. Here we go, guys. Just do this every day, and you will be so surprised how much your game will improve. I think we can defend this. We have the ace clubs. I do think it's a check, though. We're not going to continue betting. And we'll check it through. And he had seven deuce. I don't know why he didn't go for more value with the trips. Alright guys, hope that helps.